Last video we learned how to derive a supply equation using the data in a supply schedule or on a supply curve. We used the supply for beef in that video and we derived the equation that we see here representing the supply of beef at a range of prices in a particular period of time. In this video we'll discuss the things that can change in the supply equation and talk about how a change in either the C or the D variable can affect the supply for a particular good. In our last video, we talked about how the C variable represents the Q intercept of supply. This is where the supply curve would cross the quantity axis if it went all the way to the quantity axis on our graph. However, what you can see here is that the supply curve does not actually intersect the Q axis in the visible range of our graph. In fact, before supply crosses the quantity axis, it crosses the price axis. The reason here is that in the market for a particular good, producers would not be willing to supply that good unless the price were greater than zero. What I want to show you now is how to calculate the price intercept of supply using the supply equation. The price intercept is the point at which the supply curve starts. This represents the price at which producers of beef would be willing and able to start providing beef. Of course, this is greater than zero because no producers can afford to grow beef at a price of zero. To find the p-intercept, all we need to do is set the quantity supplied to zero and solve for p since this is the price at which quantity supplied is zero. So to do that, we set QS equal to zero and then plug in the rest of our equation. Here we have shown that at a price of $1.33, beef producers will become willing and able to start producing beef. At any price lower than $1.33, the quantity supplied will equal zero since firms will not be able to cover the cost of producing the first units of beef. Now that we know where our supply curve starts, let's talk about things that can cause a shift in the supply curve or a change in the slope of the supply curve. We'll start by talking about changes in the C variable in the supply equation. A change in the C variable in the supply equation will cause a shift in the supply curve to the left or the right. A decrease in the C variable would cause a leftward shift in the supply curve. And an increase causes a rightward shift. What could cause a change in the C variable, however? You learned in an earlier video the determinants of supply, the things that can cause a shift in the supply curve. These things are also the factors that can cause a change in the C variable. So we can say a change in any of the determinants of supply. And from the earlier video, I taught you the acronym STORES, S-T-O-R-E-S, -E which stands for subsidies, taxes, technology, other goods prices, resource costs, the expectations of future prices, or the size of the market, a change in any of these determinants of supply can cause a change in the C variable and a shift in supply. Let's do an example. Let's assume that the cost of feed for cattle decreases. Since the feed for cattle represents a major cost of raising cows, decreases in the cost of cattle feed will cause the supply of beef to increase, which could also be indicated by an increase in the C variable. So let's assume the supply of beef increases to QS equals negative 20 plus 30P. Notice that the C variable has increased from negative 40 to negative 20. What impact will this have on the supply curve? The first thing we need to do is find the new p-intercept for supply. Using our new supply equation and the same method I taught you earlier, we can set quantity supply to zero and solve for p to find the new p-intercept. The new price at which the supply curve will begin is 0 0.67. The p-intercept has decreased since the cost of feed has decreased for cows. Now what will happen to the slope of the supply curve when the c variable changes? In fact, nothing will happen to the slope since the slope is dictated by the value of the D variable, not the C variable. When the slope stays the same, but the P-intercept changes due to an increase in the supply, we end up with a new supply curve to the right or below our original supply curve. This represents an increase in the supply of beef resulting from a decrease in the cost of feed. An increase in the C variable has caused the supply curve to shift to the right and an increase in the supply of beef. 
What else could cause the supply of beef to change? A change in some of the other determinants of supply might have an effect not on the C variable but on the D variable. The D variable once again represents the responsiveness of producers to price changes. Let's assume that the technology used by butchers to process beef improves, allowing beef producers to become much more responsive to changes in the price of beef. A change in the responsiveness of producers to price changes will cause the D variable to change. If producers become more responsive, the D variable will increase. However, if producers become less responsive to price changes, the D variable will decrease. A change in the D variable will affect the slope of the supply curve. So using our example from before, let's assume that new technology allows beef producers to become more responsive to price changes. So the supply increases to QS equals negative 40 plus 50 P. Notice that this is similar to our original supply equation. However, the D variable has increased, indicating that producers are now more responsive. To show the effect of this increase in the supply of beef on the supply curve, we must first calculate the new p-intercept. Our new p-intercept is now 0 0.8, which we can put on our graph. Now, however, we also have to show that the slope of the supply curve has changed. To determine how to draw a new supply curve, we can just plug in a price and quantity and find a second point on our supply curve besides the p-intercept. I'll find out how much is supplied at a price of 4. Now I have a second point to put on my supply curve. I know that at a price of 4, a quantity of 160 will be supplied. Once I connect these two points, I'll have my new supply curve. Here I have shown what happens when the two variables in the supply equation change. A change in the C variable will cause a shift horizontally of the supply curve, either outwards or inwards, depending on whether the C variable increases or decreases. A change in the D variable, however, will cause the supply curve to pivot and become either steeper or flatter, depending on whether the D variable increases or decreases. An increase in the D variable represents an increase in the responsiveness of producers to price changes, which would cause supply to increase and become flatter. A decrease in the D variable, on the other hand, would mean that producers are less responsive to price changes and the supply curve would decrease and become steeper. In our two videos on linear supply equations, we have shown how to derive an equation from a, the data in a supply schedule and on a supply graph. And we have shown how changes in the C and the D variables can cause shifts in the supply curve, either inwards or outwards, and could also change the slope of supply when there is a change in the responsiveness of producers to changes in the price.